drag racing fans, living for the ride is here today at Rassamy on Kolong 14. We're going to get to see some insane 150cc four stroke and 150cc two stroke drag racing motorcycles. Believe it or not, scooter drag racing, you've never seen anything like it. Something you'd never see in Australia, the US, the UK. This is very special to Southeast Asia and we've got the best of the best here this weekend. These things are absolute rockets. Don't take my word on this, but the fastest I've seen on the quarter mile, they normally race on the eighth mile, but on the quarter mile, the fastest are around about 10.5. And that's, that's good by anyone's standards for, for a 150cc motorcycle. On the eighth mile, the two strokes sound the most awesome, but they go at the same speed. as The two strokes and the full strokes are about the same speed, which is around about 7.2 to 7.5 on the eighth mile. It's the, it's the grassroots innocence of every, everything up here. It really does um, just make you feel like, you know, like how it used to be in, in, in Australia or any, any other country. So what do I like about Thailand? It's not just me, I think a lot of people feel the same way. There's a, there's a freedom here uh, where you're allowed to just have fun without being dominated by rules and, and officials. There's no science and look, people uh, constantly look at it and they're amazed, you know, oh, he, look, he just rode with uh, flip-flops on or he's got a short sleeve shirt or a helmet looks like, you know, his mother made it or something. Um, yeah, look, I, and, and I share all those concerns, but we come back to the grassroots innocence. I hope the sport's never uh, overtaken by rules and, and, and you know, corporate, uh, you know, identities that want to change things. People get out there and have fun. There's no ambulance on site. Um, I'm sure there's a first aid kit somewhere, but the thing is, nothing goes wrong. There are so many things unique to this particular type of sport. Um, drag racing's got its own strange things, but this type of drag racing's got its own strange things as well. Watching them strap ballast on to every part of the bike uh, when they uh, do the combined weight of bike and rider. But they take the spokes up for some reason. I, can, I don't even know why, whether it's aerodynamics or it's a resonant frequency of the spokes, or I don't know. Some do, some don't. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of superstition over here too, so maybe it's that. I, I really don't know, but I, but I love it. It's a real microscience. But yeah, they go for these razor thin tyres, which to me doesn't make enough, enough sense. Um, they heat, they heat, heat it up um, on the line as you normally do with a little burnout. You got, you got to burn the track. Oh, yeah, yeah, fire, fire. Oh, wow. The technical colleges up here take it on as a challenge where they all, it's techn technical college versus technical college. And the racing's incredible and they, uh, they're building you know, young mechanics and young riders and uh, you know, future motorcycle dealers and bike salesmen. The, the, the championship's more, more than just racing. Uh, and it's in introducing them to uh, new high-tech products that come in as sponsors. So, um, yeah, look, it, it's a, it's a multi-generational uh, thing up here. Racing is a really big part of what they do. There's some fantastic sponsors in this scene. Mitron are one of the biggest and most prevalent sponsors in the scene. Well, Surapong from Mitron Piston came along um, yeah, as part of the journey with with uh, JRP, uh, the two, probably two of the biggest sponsors in, in the local drag racing. Very, very impressed. I've never heard of this, this piston until I came to Thailand, and now all I see is everyone is using it. This is a secret one. It's the only, only Mitron piston in Thailand for the motorbike we have like this. For the small bike. Yes. You know, for the small bike, I mean the Wave 110, Wave 125. No, well, everywhere I go, I mean, there's only one piston here in drag racing in Thailand. Yes, in yes, of course, of course, of course. They use British, uh, British designs of pistons and they, uh, there's a very famous company in, um, in Germany called Mahle, M-A-H-L-E, uh, that make you know, fantastic pistons and they share the same technology as those guys. It's not similar, it's the same, um, but at high prices. We like to fight, you know, here. You know, you like to fight, we like to win. The drag racing scene in Thailand is a little different than anything you've seen in the West. It, uh, there's a lot of street racing goes on here. So the drag racing community have got these small drag strips all across Thailand and Southeast Asia. And it's doing a great wonder in getting people off the street from doing street racing and the noise, the, uh, the unfortunate circumstances where 
people come unstuck. So they get to learn how to tune their bikes, they get to learn how to prepare their bikes and put it up against their friends. So they actually come out here as a big community and they race people from all over Thailand and it's like, it really is like a big family. They use a racing frame, a racing seat, a racing fairing, a racing wheels. You know, basically they build their own motorcycle, which is pretty special. But in general, it's, uh, it, people race because they really, really like it. And look, even the worst, uh, worst competitors on the track are best of friends at the end of the day. Um, and they really are just so respectful of everything uh, and each other. Um, it's just hard not to like them. Right, like our friends at Mitron Piston, JRP are an essential part of this sport in Thailand. This, uh, this company, JRP, got a, an amazing catalogue of parts for all of the riders and street users as well. I'm about to sit down and speak with the boss in Thailand, Ki Walren, and she's a lovely lady. Her English isn't so good, but neither is my Thai. Ki Walren from JRP is, oh look, you know, she's just a very, very special lady. Uh, everyone at the track loves her, and not just because she sponsors the, the events, but she's a lovable person. Good one. Good one. At the last uh, meeting, uh, my mother actually painted a uh, china plate that I gave to her as a gift, and, and uh, she'd, I don't think she'd ever seen such a thing. It had a picture of a kangaroo on it. So, you know, we've, but we've been friends now for four or five years. Uh, a real calm. <laughs> oh, it's our yeah. pleasure. I love, we love uh, drag racing, we love motorcycle sport, uh -huh. and we love you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, Peterson, and she uh, looks after JRP for Thailand, but JRP uh, racing products are all the way through Asia. Uh, they're the predominant uh, supplier of race parts for, for, for drag racing in this part of the world. Um, and Kiwaran just, yeah, she's the face and uh, everyone loves her. She actually took her bike down the strip a few times. You know, no helmet, no gloves, you know, just in, a, in the normal clothes. Someone had given her a motorcycle and here she was. She could not only sponsor and talk the talk, she could actually walk the walk. You are the most important person in drag racing, I think, in Thailand. You are the Me? most, Me? yes, you are the most but important. But I like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like motorcycle. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. my heart. Now, that gets everyone's, um, you know, the endears herself to everything, everyone in the crowd. Uh, now she's, she's very special. I've never seen another race promoter or a sponsor like her. Okay, Jingzhou. Kangaroo. Thailand. Thailand. Jingzhou. Kangaroo. Australia. It's a typical Thai character. Um, Thai girl, yeah. Song Kam. Song Kam, you know. Song Kam. I find in the West people are very standoffish and, until they get to know you. Uh, here it's. Uh, the, there was the guy who just had the mic and he was, you know, trying to entertain his crowd and um, he spoke a bit of English, so I spoke almost no Thai and uh, he was willing to, you know, ha just have a, little, have a laugh, you know, as he said, it was the land of smiles and it's, it's essentially true, I mean, Thai people are fun-loving and they, they like to, uh, they'd rather smile than frown, there's no point having a frown. I can speak English, Oh, good. 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 Thank you. <laughs>